Welcome everybody, my name is Pastor Jonathan, and this is our weekly devotional. I don't know about you, but it seems like lately there's been a lot of noise. Have you heard it? I'm not talking about your neighbor and their three kids and their five chihuahuas. I'm talking about information overload. It seems like right now there's just so much noise, so much information that's always trying to flood into my mind. Whether I turn on the news and it's just story after story, place after place, all of this information, all of these things happening at once. If I open my phone, if I scroll through Instagram or Facebook or, or the news app, it's, it's more information flooding my mind. When I, when I talk with my family, different beliefs and ideas come up and, and it's hard for me to decipher in the midst of all of this noise, what's true? Which voice is God's voice? And some of you may be struggling with this as well. In this time with all of the noise around you, how do I hear God's voice. I want to tell you a story that will help illustrate this. I used to play basketball in high school. Uh, I was part of the team, the high school team, and and part of this, the fun of playing basketball was going into our other our other schools, our rivals' gyms, and we would go to their gyms and to their stadiums and. And they would have bleachers there and their fans would be there cheering and yelling at us. And it was an environment that was full of noise. It was loud. And the buzzer was going and, and people were stomping on the ground. And I can remember I couldn't hear a thing. And we got to practice the next week. And our coach said to us, this week in practice... When we're here in our own gym, nobody's cheering us on. I want you to listen to my voice. I want you, as I'm giving you instructions, I'm telling you what you're doing well and what you're doing wrong, as I'm calling out plays, I want you to, to listen to my voice, to play it over and over in, my he in your head, to, to play it so that you, you recognize my voice every time I speak. We thought, oh, that's, you know, that's easy, coach. There's nobody here. We can all hear your voice. So we went through that week of practice and we listened as he called out plays and as he used his voice to help encourage us and to grow us as players. And that next week, we went to play another school at their gym and something amazing happened. It was loud as it always was. There were fans screaming and yelling. But I could hear my coach's voice. Through all of that noise, through all of, all of the, the flashing lights and the people all around, I could hear him. Because I had played his voice over and over. I had found out exactly what he sounds like. In the midst of all of these voices, I could pick out which one was his. And I think this helps me to understand how I can hear God's voice in a time with all of this noise around me. You know, in, in John chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus says, My sheep hear my voice. I speak to them and they, they follow me. So how? How do we come to hear God's voice in all of this noise? Well, the first thing is we have to practice in silence. Those times when we shut off the TV, when we shut off our phone, when we spend time just with God, those are the times when we can hear his voice clearly. And, and while there's many other ways that we can hear him, I want to look at one, one way that we can always hear him. We can always know it's his voice, and that's the word of God. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 makes this really plain. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. It says, all scripture, 
That's this book right here. All of it is God breathed. It's spoken by God. These are his words. When we read these words, we hear him. And they're profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction. Look at this, for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. I know it seems loud. I know there's lots of sources around you, lots of noise around you. But right here, this book right here, the word of God, breathed out by him. This is a sure foundation, a, a sure word that you know when you look in this book that you can hear him. You can hear God. So I want you to encourage you, spend time in this word. Spend time getting to know his voice right here. So that no matter where you are, no matter what's going on around you, you will know his voice. Let me pray for you. Father in heaven, I pray that we will know your voice. That in the silent moments, in the moments that we can spend just with you, that you will speak to us. I thank you, Lord, for, for this book right here, for these words that you have spoken directly to us. And I thank you that no matter where we are, what's going on around you, we can always know that right here we have your voice. And I pray that every person who is, who is listening to this message right now will come to know your voice, will come to know you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.